today's been a very lovely day at sea. The weather was nice. The sea's calm. You know, we took some, some time and walked around the ship. We hung out in one area, hung out in another. But last few hours, as you can see, I have popped my rear end right here and had an iPad and read and, and um, just chilled. You know, but this view, I mean, how can you not just sit out here in this view and just relax? It's one of my favorite places to be in the whole world, is on the sea. But anyhow, um, we're going to dinner. My room starts chomping the bit to get in here, which is a little different than the rest of the nights. I guess because it's the last night. It is the last night. So we're going to go and um, eat dinner and then eventually make our way back up here and pack our bags and put them out in the hallway. But uh, we don't have to have them out to midnight, so that gives us plenty of time to hang out and do some things. But let's go see what the Mediterranean restaurant has available tonight. So here's my dinner for the last night of the cruise. I was hoping for the crab cakes. You all know how I like those unlimited crab cakes on the last night of the buffet, but they didn't have them. But they have grilled parmesan and tilapia and a, a pasta and lamb again. And I don't think, Tony, did you get anything I didn't get? You got some some vegetables and stuff that I didn't get, some, some fresh fruit. There's always lots of fresh fruit for those who are big fruit eaters. I should have ate more fruit this cruise instead of some other stuff I did. But uh, I'm gonna go have my last my last dinner. All right, there's, uh, there's a lot of dessert, dessert selections tonight. Um, looking forward to the, trying this one. This is a bread pudding with a espresso bourbon sauce. And then there's a cherry vanilla cake, a strawberry financier. I know I'm butchered that, but that's that's my interpretation. And then a cappuccino mousse and a coconut cake, which is diet, sugar free. Well, tonight we get a heart along with the luggage tags, which means we gotta get off the ship tomorrow. Alrighty, I have packed. Tony timed me and I started packing at 8.50 and it's 9.15 and I have everything except for what we're carrying off the ship in the morning, you know, contacts and toothbrush and our change of clothes. Um, but I've got these suitcases all packed up. I'll close them up. I'll put my little tags out there I'll, on them. I'll sit them out in the hallway. Somebody will come by and get them at some point and uh, we'll get them in the morning. But uh, I got it done. Check it out. I'm getting ready to go load up all the luggage. We're in a little air guitar competition. All right. So you guys just do your best air guitar, and you'll both win a prize. So it's really not a competition, I'm just going to do the air guitar. I just want to rock, yeah, rock it out. Here we go. Well, folks, guess what time it is? 
It's time for me to get off the ship. Um, we're back in Fort Canaveral. We're waiting for our zone to be called. Um, they've had a few zones called, but um, we're getting ready to head down and get our luggage and head back to Kentucky. And um, I just wanted to say that overall, you know, I love cruising and I love all ships, so I can make any cruise what I want to make it. Um, but this has probably been my least favorite ship so far um, out of all my cruises. And the food was good. If the food wasn't good and the movies wasn't good, then I probably would have been very, very disappointed. But Tony and I, you know, we relaxed. We had some good food. We watched some movies. And I do like the, I did like the way the ship overall was laid out. I like the open decks. We like we walked around there a lot. Um, but it definitely needs a lot of upgrades and a lot of upkeep. Um, and so I feel like after it goes into the dry dock and gets all that, it may be a way better ship. I would like to see the service stepped up a little bit. Um, I felt like they were very unapologetic for anything that did go wrong. Like, like you know, I went like half a day without a toilet. And he, he every time I called, he did come back and he eventually did fix it. But he never spoke a word to me. <laughs> He never said, I mean, he never said one word to me. Nobody ever called to apologize. Um, whereas like on the sunshine, when we had the air conditioning problem, you know, they, you know, was making sure we were happy. They checked back on us. They, you know, nobody seemed to want to give good service in the, my, not only I can deal with things looking old, but I can't deal with things looking dirty. My shower has mold in it. Um, in the grout. Um, there was hair in the shower. There was hair in the towels before we ever took our first shower. Um, just little things like that that can can be helped. Um, you know, if it, we had just came in here and the ship had been old, no big deal. You know, we all get old. <laughs> but um, overall, a cruise is what you make it. So if you try to overlook some of the stuff and you can still have a good time. But, um, I'm, but I, that's what I'm here for to let you know what these ships, the problems with the ships, and what to look for, and if you can't deal with those problems, then you might want to pick another ship. But um, thanks for sailing with me again, and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel because um, I will have more more cruises coming up. I don't know right now when my next one is. I'm not really sure. You know, the holidays coming up, it, it gets kind of busy for me doing other things, so I'm not real sure. But I will let everybody know and. Um, and if you like my videos, please hit the like button. It does help a YouTuber out to, to get those likes and definitely subscri you know, subscribers. But um, once again, thanks for selling with me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.